Today we're making merit, dedicating it to Rama the Ninth. Today would have been his hundredth, no, it would have been his ninety-fourth birthday. We think of the goodness he had, he did for Thailand, the goodness he did for Buddhism. If it weren't for him, we probably wouldn't have the forest tradition left. He was able to keep Thailand together at a time when things were falling apart. And because he kept it together, it was a place where people could practice. Westerners could go and study what the people would practice and bring it back. So we don't owe an awful lot to him, even if we're not Thai. So it's good to think of the people we owe things to and think of the goodness that they had, because he was good in lots of ways. He had lots of projects, thousands of projects, to help poor people in Thailand. And he spent a lot of time going out to really difficult areas to check up on the hill tribes, check up on the poor farmers, see what they needed, see what could be done. And he followed through. And so I think of all the energy he put into that just to be helpful. So our question is, how can we be helpful in continuation? Well, number one is practicing. As I said, he was concerned about the status of Buddhism, so we, we can make sure that Buddhism is good because we're doing it, we're practicing it. We don't want it to disappear from the world. This is one of the reasons why we think of the goodness of people who passed away, realizing that things have been good in the past and they depend on people, this goodness. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness depends on people. So now it depends on us. So we think of the practice both for ourselves and as our practice impacts other people. This is the project that we're working together on. So it's good to have a sense of community around us. So that we're all working together. And that way Buddhism stays because it's been practiced. And John Lee makes a comparison with a recipe for medicine. He says you see it written out. And if you've never tried the medicine to see if it really does cure disease, it just becomes a slip of paper and then as with time it gets old, and as it gets old it gets dirty and dusty, and finally gets thrown out, because nobody's tried it. But if you try the medicine and find that it really works, okay, you make sure that it's copied and it gets spread around, and you have a strong sense because you have a strong sense of its worth. So you have a strong sense of the worth of the Buddhist teachings because you practice them. So the more we practice, the better, not only for us but for the world at large. So think, though, this is not only your practice, but a practice for the human race, a practice for the beings of the world, to make sure that goodness doesn't disappear from the world on our watch. <laughs>